Hi everyone, in this lesson we're going to be representing data using pictograms. This topic is part of the data area of maths and it's suitable for children who are 8 years and older. For this lesson you will need a pencil and eraser and a page of lined maths paper to do your sums. Ok, so what are pictograms? Pictograms are a way of showing amounts using pictures. Here are some pictures of different types of weather. We've got sunny, cloudy, rainy and windy. So let's say we wanted to record the weather each day for 10 days. We could use these pictures. So on the first day it was rainy. On the second day it was also rainy. On the third day it was sunny. On the fourth day it was windy, on the fifth day it was sunny, then it was cloudy and sunny again, on the eighth day it was windy, on the ninth day it was windy and on the tenth day it was windy as well. The question is how would you present or show this 10 day weather record on a pictogram? The first thing you do to make a pictogram is put the data group labels down the side, which in this case is the weather. So we've got sunny, cloudy, rainy and windy. Then coming from this you would put in the frequency which is how often it happened. So it was sunny three times. We can see that it was cloudy one time, it was rainy two times and it was windy four times. So we use our pictures to create a pictogram for the 10 days of weather. Excellent work! Now I would like you to make your own pictogram. This time it's for the weather in February. And here's the weather for all of February. To start, I would like you to take this information and make it into a pictogram. We'll first of all put our title in to label our data. So our title is the weather in February. Then write in the data group down the side, which is the weather. So we've got sunny first, then you can write in cloudy, you can then write in rainy and finally windy. The frequency or how often it occurs is going to come out from each word. Just like this. Now it's time for you to complete your pictogram. You can complete it by yourself or you can pause the video each time and copy what I've done. Press play when you're ready. Well done, now let's see if you got it right. So we can see up here that it was sunny on seven days. So that's why there's going to be seven icons across from sunny. After that we're going to put in the cloudy for four days. We then move to the rainy for ten days and the windy for eight days. Great work! And from our pictogram we can get lots of information. So let's see if you can answer these questions. The first one, how many more days was it rainy than windy? How many fewer days was it cloudy than rainy? And question three, how many days were there all together? Press pause, see if you can answer these questions then press play when you are ready. Well done. Ok, so for question 1, there are two more rainy days than windy days. For question 2, there were of course six fewer cloudy days than rainy days. And for question 3, how many days were there all together? Well, if you count up all the pictures, you will find that there were of course 29 days altogether. 
so it must have been a leap year. And that's how you represent data using pictograms. Keep up the great work. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you know somebody who will find this video helpful, please share it with them.